Oh, this is Daryl at Good Attitude Services, 10 foot truck. Obviously, there's no light in this truck right now. It's, <clears throat> uh, I just got an offer for a decent haul, and the uh, snow and ice, um, I guess the snow and ice uh, has been uh, really bad, and uh, you know, it was below zero and very snowy and icy. So, this truck wasn't going to move because it was piled where I parked the truck. It was uh, piled pretty high with snow and there was no way I was getting out. Um, but fortunately it started raining uh, it's up to in the 40s right now. The weather's completely changed and now it's raining uh, for the whole day and it's melting that snow. So I, uh, uh, I saw an offer for a haul. Pretty good pain so I got in the truck. I was going to do it tomorrow and uh, unfortunately I started to pull the truck out and there's a big patch of ice and it's not getting past it. And I noticed there's more ice out in the driveway. Even though it's been raining, it's been warm, it's not warm enough yet to uh, melt all this ice that's on this driveway. It goes pretty far to the road. And uh, so I'm stuck here. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna accept the job because if I did accept it, I, you know, it's gonna be colder tomorrow morning. It may even be a little bit more difficult to, to pull the truck. This truck doesn't run good on ice. Uh, I mean, I'd have to put chains on it to, just to get out the driveway. And um, I currently don't have any chains for this truck because I never use it. I don't operate this truck in, this, in the winter time, so I don't bother with the chains. So uh, usually it's not this snowy for so long. So I've kind of been uh, stuck here. That's the problem. So uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I missed out on a pretty decent, uh, decent job. There'll be more to come. But I always have to test because I'm not going to I'm not going to accept a job if I can't um, if I you know and then the next morning not be able to do it that would really mess up their customer they'd have to go rebook and uh, I would rather them find someone that's been able to get their truck out um, because I just would rather wait and uh, make sure that I'm going to be able to do the job uh, even though I need the money <laughs> so I'll probably just go out and do some uh, some deliveries in the car for uh, roadie if they have any uh, for Walmart or if they have any uh, food delivery or grocery deli deliveries tonight if I can make the car uh, the car has four wheel drive I can get out out on the road no problem but the truck looks like it's stuck maybe not till I mean I don't know when the next snowstorm is going to come around here hopefully this will be another week where it'll melt all, all this off so I'll have a week next week um, I also noticed I have uh, my signal lights out. I gotta fix that too. So that's what's going on with 10 foot truck. And uh, that's the thing about winter time. It's, it's much more challenging for me in this truck uh, because uh, it's uh, it's not uh, all wheel or four wheel drive. It's just a two wheel drive. And they don't do it. And it's a rear wheel. You know, rear, rear front wheel drive would probably be better because those are a little easier because there's more weight on the, on the motor. The rear wheel drive, you know, have a lot of weight in there. You have to, you know, it's a little bit more difficult. So, looks like I'm not going to be doing that tonight or tomorrow. Anyway, 10 foot truck, good attitude services. I hope everybody's uh, doing well. I know it's been a rough winter all over the country. There's a lot of uh, snowstorms and ice, and we had it here too. And now it's uh, changed. I think it's going to get warmer this for the rest of the country too. That's what I hear. I hear it because it's getting warmer here. But of course, that only lasts a little bit because we're still early on winter. So I'm sure we're going to have a few more significant snowstorms um, since we're just in the uh, early part of uh, or late part of uh, December. So uh, I expect to uh, deal with that later. Sometimes in, in late January, it's, I'm able to get the truck out. Definitely in February and late mid to late February, I'm definitely out on the road with the truck. And March, no problems. So that's the way it works around here, uh, out here in Spokane, Washington. Good Attitude Services, 10-foot truck, sign out.